welcome back to the Gentry Center. Lady Tigers picking up their first win of the season, 93 to 48 over Fisk, improving in the series record over the Bulldogs, 10 to zero. Uh, congratulations, first of all, to head coach Jessica Kern, first win as a as a Lady Tiger. I feel like it's a long time coming. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, what are some of the things you feel that uh, the team accomplished this evening? Well, we wanted to, this was a test game for us, and we wanted to go through pretty much everything we've got in the arsenal just to see, um, you know, what we're really good at and where we really need work. Um, you know, again, to have balanced scoring tonight um, was fun to see. Fran Brown, great to see her score the basketball. Um, that kid, I think, has more potential than people really even know and uh, she's finally realizing that she can score the ball which is great Taylor Williams shot the ball well uh, we shot the three better tonight than than we normally do which is great but I'm just I'm happy for the girls because young people need to be validated that's extremely important um, and so to get this win was a great thing okay well that's great and uh, we're excited about that and you know you you talked about shooting a little bit better from the three-point line yeah you know the or the three-point arc but the free throw line as well. You shot yeah. better from there, so you, you saw a lot of uh, improvements. Uh, you know, five players in double digits. Uh, that that's great to find. Very good. Yeah. You know, we've had some great performances by Tia Wooten as well as. Uh, from Taylor Roberts, but it's nice to see others jump in. Oh, yeah. Autumn Hobson, you know, tonight. I think people don't really realize how long and lanky that kid is. Mm -hmm. um, and she gets to the rim, which was really fun to see. But I said it in my other interview, and I say this again about Tia Wooten. My challenge to Tia was not being a good if you're being a good athlete, it was being a good citizen. Mm -hmm. And if you want to lead and people to follow, you've got to do the right things. And so she's learning it all goes hand in hand, and it's no coincidence night in and night out. She's giving us, you know, double-doubles tonight, I believe. So, yeah, I'm pr pretty proud of her. Now, Fisk packed it in pretty good in the first half, and, and they were not giving you second chance on the on the rebounds. We only had four offensive rebounds in, in that sense, finished with 15, and – uh, you had a one point or one rebound advantage, and then yeah, what was kind of like the message at halftime? Because it seemed that things in the second half were, you you were, your inside game was starting to work a little bit more. Right, I will, I will for the duration of my coaching career. You know, I was a Division two head coach at one point, um, and I understand these kind of games and what it does for a team like Fisk, and they're going to be feisty regardless, and they're going to be tough. Those kids take a hit. Um, and whatever it's going to be, they're still tough on the inside. So we knew that on the scouting report, but we needed to honor the basketball. We weren't really doing that, making really quick passes. And post players always say, got to wait for a big girl to get there. So, um, you know, once we did that, we did a little bit better. Um, our rebounds, we finished with 55, which I'm pretty pleased with. Um, and so, but again, hats off to Fisk. I don't think by any means this is indicative of the type of season they're going to have because there's some tough kids. Number zero, I mean, she was shooting lights out from that long ball, so. Well, they were definitely not afraid. They were they were attacking as much as they could, right. and that's great. Now, now obviously we were in finals this last week, and you know I'm sure it took a little bit to be able to get to everyone to practice and such. But, but you know finals are done. Graduation happened this morning, yeah. so now you have the group for for a few weeks here before they get back into classes. What are some of the things that you're really looking to try and instill in them and really focus on? now that you have them almost pretty much focused on nothing but basketball. Right. This is the make or break time of the season. You know, um, I always tell people there's certain times of the year that sort of freak me out. One being Thanksgiving because kids eat a lot and then have to play right away, right? right. Um, the other being Christmas um, because, you know, kids are homesick. They want to see their families. Um, and then spring break. And again, we're still pr playing. So um, we were really lucky this exam week um, to get kids into practice. It worked out very well for our schedule. But we're going to do a lot of teaching team bonding, community service. I like to do unconventional training during this time because it keeps the kids locked in. And this is when your team really becomes a unit. You get to know all the stuff about your teammates you didn't know. Um, and it should take you into conference play. So this is when we're going to have fun. And you know I believe in food and fellowship. And I want to say that. I owe you a plate. Um, so we're, we're going to have some fun. Uh, the girls already said they wanted to do dessert wars because apparently I have some cookers on the squad. So we're going to see. I got you. I'm, I'm, uh Count me in on that too, <laughs> I, I, I don't mind that. So, so again, you get a, a nice uh, W here tonight. Uh, you've had a, a, a very solid uh, non-conference schedule. 
and it, it gets easier with number four, a trip to number four, uh, Louisville? Yeah, right. You know, I, every coach's, uh, you know, goal is to make postseason at the end of the year. We haven't lost sight of that goal. We know we've got to go up against the Louisville. Um, and again, it's a part of us being battle tested. But I like our odds going into OVC play. We're consistently getting better. Um, and again, Jaden Wrightsell, she will be healthy and ready to rock for OVC play. And that's another dimension no one has seen. So mm -hmm. we're encouraged. Um, this was a good one for the kids. They needed that tonight. Well, good. Now, what are some of the things that uh, you try and convince uh, the team mentally, and what are some of the things that you're really trying to continue to focus going in to face a team like Louisville uh, before coming in? And sh you do have Lipscomb and Marshall coming up on the way uh, before you, you travel to UT Martin for the first OVC contest, but, but what are some of those key things that you try to remind them uh, and and expect of them when they face a team like Louisville. Right, you have to, again, honoring the basketball and being disciplined on both ends of the, we're working on us. That's just the reality of it. We're working on us and our growth. So we want to make sure we're sticking to the game plan that we do. Um, and again, with all due respect to Louisville, it's not about Louisville, it's about our growth. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to go in with a game plan of teaching and doing the things that we do well, getting better at it, but we want to honor every single possession. And so, but this is the kind of games that kids want to play division one basketball for. They want to be under the lights, you know, and they, they want to be on the big stage. So um, I think you're going to be surprised at some of the kids that stepped up. We have some gamers. Taylor Roberts is a gamer. So it's going to be fun. Well, we definitely look forward to that once again. Uh, uh, a W for the Lady Tigers tonight, 93 to 48 over Fisk. So that's uh, a good uh, a good move in the right direction for for Tennessee State women's basketball. And before we walk out, I want to definitely say a, a congratulations uh, to Desmond Perry, who's standing behind the camera right now, just got married. Congratulations, we're we're happy for him and um, my wedding gift is still in the mail. <laughs> so congratulations to all. So uh, once again, the Lady Tigers head off to face off against number four Louisville, and that is on December 12th. But they will be right back here in the Gentry Center in action against Lipscomb on December 15th. Thank you for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoyed some Lady Tiger basketball here in the Gentry Center. You're watching on the OVC Digital Network. Have a good evening.